Good morning, everybody. I wanted to film a day in the life because I have not filmed one of these in a very long time. Had my coffee and it was delicious. I add a little bit of half and half to it. We've been shopping at Trader Joe's lately, so I feel like our groceries have switched up. I sat down this morning with my coffee and watched the premiere of the Kelsey Brothers podcast. It's so funny. So I watched the documentary of Jason Kelsey um, a few weeks ago. Andrew and I watched it and I totally loved it. I just, I've always really loved football because my dad was a football coach my whole life growing up. My brothers all played football and then Andrew played football. So I've just been surrounded by football my whole life. So I was just interested in their documentary, like taking out Taylor Swift. <laughs> Um, and I listened to a few of their podcasts because I really like Jason's wife. I think she's just like so cool. And I loved when she was on the podcast. So I watched that. So then when this, when everything went down with Taylor and Travis, and then I saw that they were going to mention her on the podcast, I was like, I will be watching that. So I sat down, I can do her. So I sat down this morning and it was like premiering. So I got to watch it like as it was happening. And I just loved what he said. I'm gonna go upstairs and do my makeup and we can chat about it really quick. Okay, my hair is super curly because I had it in French braids yesterday, but that is my new thing I do when I don't have time to blow dry my hair. I just put it in two French braids and it dries like this. And so the next day I just kind of brush it out and I really like it. So I'm going to um, add a little concealer. I put this on first after I washed my face, the Ilia. Super Serum Skin Tint. I am in the shade Bomb Bomb right now. I'm gonna do a little concealer first and then add my cream products. So um, I did wanna say though about the, the, new, the new couple, um, because you guys all know I am a Taylor Swift fan, have been for a very long time. And it's so funny because when her and Joe broke up, um, we're in a group chat, me, Andrew, and a few of our friends, and all the guys were like, she needs to be with a football player. And we were like, I don't know if it's, she needs to be with a pro athlete. And he's like, all three of you are with football players. And I was like, yeah, but that's like a, you guys weren't like professional football players. I think it's like a different, I don't know. And here they are now, and I clearly really love the pairing. I just feel like they they actually are a good fit. So it was kind of nice to hear him talk about it. I was saying to Andrew, I feel like in the past, all of her relationships are like so hush hush. I'm gonna put some um, cream bronzer on. This is the Veridi bronzer by RMS. I love this. It just adds like a, a really pretty warmth to your skin. I'm gonna add this all over. And then after that, I'm gonna do the RMS cream highlighter and I'll share um, the blush I've been using. And this uh, brush is the Everything Brush from Jones Road. It's really good for cream products. But I was saying it's kind of funny because like all of the past relationships she's been in, they're so like secretive and I feel like nobody talks about anything. And uh, Travis Kelsey is like so outspoken and like in the public eye and talks, has a, podcast like just seems so opposite of what she's usually with um and i was like there's no chance he can't say anything because of that um so i liked how they brought it up in the podcast and just like addressed the elephant in the room with being like respectful still and not just like sharing every detail it was more just like yep this was crazy and cool um but i'm not gonna like continue talking about her just for, you know, to respect her privacy, which I, I like. It's like he said, like talked about it cause it's been so, you know, like wild, all the, all the attention on it. Um, so it's not like he's ignoring it or anything, but he's not gonna like give all their personal details, which is like, obviously she's not gonna want. Um, but I felt like he was totally like blushing the whole time and like super nervous because I've seen other podcasts and he seemed a lot more like relaxed usually and I just felt like in this podcast he was so anxious to like start talking about it um, with his brother. 
<laughs> so that was kind of cute. But I don't know, maybe it'll just be like a short, quick thing, or maybe it'll be long term, which would be, which would be cool. I just feel like I like seeing her just like happy. Like it was just nice to see her doing something so normal. I usually just see her going to dinner and to the recording studio. To, so to see her at a football game, like the most kind of normal thing to do on a Sunday was really weird to see and just like having fun. I was like, this is just so awesome. And literally leaving and putting the cream product on my cheekbones, leaving in a convertible was just, again, like so normal and refreshing to see her be able to do that. So I'm just happy for her. I feel like that's a, that's really cool. I feel like he's her protector now. Okay, this is the um, Axiology Tinted Dew. It's a multi-stick. I love this so much. I use it for my um, cheeks and it, it like wears down to not feeling like sticky on your skin. The color is humble. It's like a really pretty, like cool tone pink. So I pop that on and then I use a, like my foundation brush to blend that in like this. And it just gives such a pretty flush to your skin. I told Andrew too, like, I don't understand why I was so, <laughs> when it first happened, we, you know, you like, you heard the, the story about him with the friendship bracelets and you're like, I don't even know if this could be anything. And I was like, would she even go to a game? Like that would be so crazy. And then literally like right after we were talking about that, um, Andrew was watching the football game and I was outside just like walking around and he's like, Kendra, get inside right now. And I'm like, what? I was like, what in the world is happening? And I see her in the box and I'm like, no way. Like, is this, Photoshopped, like <laughs> that cannot be real. Put some powder on my eyebrows since they're not there right now. But it was so funny, I could not stop smiling. Andrew's like, oh my gosh, why are you smiling so much? I was like, I do not know. I didn't realize that I would be so into this. I think it was just because it was so like not what I expected, seeing her just like having fun up there and like, I don't know. Once I saw them together, I was like, yep, I am into this. If you want, watch the Chicks in the Office podcast or listen to it. It was, they were like spot on talking about it. I absolutely loved it. They're like, it'd be pretty funny if we're all talking about this so much and then they literally are together for one week and then it's over. But either way, I just think it's fun that she's just like out having fun. Good for her. And if this becomes something, also good for her. I am going to put a little powder on top just to kind of lock everything in. I don't like doing too much powder these days. I feel like I have another bug bite on my leg. I can't believe the bug bites this summer here. Okay, this is the Alima Pure Satin Matte Foundation in Warm One. I love this. I just do a little bit underneath my eyes and around my nose. This kind of helps the concealer like warm into the skin, like melt into the skin, first just laying there, and then a little just in between my eyebrows to grab any shine. And then I'll do a little bit of powder bronzer, just around my face. This is Ecosis, my top of that came off, bronzer. This is just what I, do daily if I'm doing my makeup. So I wanna show you kind of my quick version of it. Usually the girls and Owen all get dressed right now while I'm getting ready. Everybody has a little breakfast. And then we mosey on into the classroom to start our school. A little bit of this on my eyelids. My battery's dying, I gotta change that. And I just place this on the lid crease and kind of pull that out. Isn't that pretty? I don't really use eyeshadow anymore. I love the look of bronzer because it gives you the same tone as your face. It just pulls it all nicely together. For mascara, I've been using the Honest Mascara. I really, really like it. You have the primer on one side and the mascara on the other. They have, this is the extreme length one. They also have a volumizing one, which I haven't tried yet. If you have, let me know because I do love 
I like volume over length for mascara, but this one's really nice. Okay, this is usually where I stop my makeup. However, sometimes I do a little bit of black eyeshadow just on my upper lid just to give my eyes a little bit of more definition. So I'll just go, I'm trying to beat the battery right now on the outer part and just press a little bit with an angled brush. I feel like it just wears nicely throughout the day. And gives a little more depth to my eyes. I have large eyes, so I feel like they can take a lot of makeup without it looking like much. Okay, last I spray my face with the Dime Thirsty Face Mist. Just got a box in the mail and I'm pretty sure, yes, it is some clothes. So we're gonna do a little fall try on haul right now. I got a bunch of fall stuff from Cupshe. I have a bunch of bathing suits for them. They're just so affordable and great. So I thought I'd try some of their clothes out. All right, first up, let's see. Oh, this is like a long cardigan. And this charcoaly gray color. It's like an open cardigan. I'm gonna try to find exact links to all these. This is like a, a sweater duster. This I would love to just throw on like around the house. And I feel like this would also be really cute with like black underneath. I have been loving all of the like white and navy stripes. Oh, that's so cute. It just looks so preppy to me. And I was thinking this too would be, I mean, I'll wear it obviously this fall, but I feel like this would be a really cute spring type of sweater to wear with some like denim shorts with this. I got a medium in everything, I'm pretty sure. I am five, six for reference. This is what I was talking about with denim shorts. It is very soft. It feels really nice. The sleeve length is great. And I think this is just like such a easy throw on type of sweater. Ooh, this one looks like a three people dupe to me, just with the knit and the buttons. Isn't that, doesn't that remind you of three people? Kind of like they're different. Um, they have the sets with the top and bottom and I feel like this, right when I saw that, I was like, oh, add to cart. I always gravitate towards this color. I just love the like taupey cream. Ooh, this is so good. The sleeves are perfect length and wear it like dress it to make it cute to wear out, but what a cozy outfit or cozy top to wear at home. Is it weird that I'm thinking this would be a good thing to wear for Christmas morning? <laughs> oh yeah, I like that a lot. I wanted something button up that I could just have like as a layering piece. And I feel like this just kind of dresses up your outfit a little bit, but it's still like a laid back style but you feel, it's not dresses up your outfit. It's laid back, but it's a little more put together. You know, perfect to just throw on. Oh, I like it like that. Okay, this is a button up sweater. Oh, that's cute. This is like the color I'm wearing too. I really like that. It feels like it's not gonna be itchy. Big puffy sleeves. Okay, I love this. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Love the color. And then you could just wear a button, that's cute too. And this one is like a rust. Oh, I love this color. They have so many cute fall things right now. I love the big sleeves on this one. Look how it kind of folds over, isn't that cute? And I love a chunky knit. I was kind of worried about this color being too orangey on me with my hair, but I feel like it's okay. I love the length. A lot of clothes now are so cropped, it's hard for me to find something long enough. I also love how all of these styles fit. They're all just very flattering and comfortable. So if you guys wanna check out Cupshe products and see all of their really cute knitwear for fall time, they gave you all a discount code. It is Cupshe Style 15. I will put it down below if you guys wanna get a discount on your purchase. Save some money and get some really 
cute, cute knitwear, sweaters, things for fall time. I'm gonna get our stuff going for school today. So the two main chunks that we do are math and reading. The reading we do is all about reading. We are on level two. So I take out the student workbooks. Just we need something out of there. And then the teacher's manual. I have set my sights on a summer evening Where we can watch the sky chase the morning Us under the stars, you fall into my arms There's no one else I'd rather be here with mm -hmm. cleaned up our reading we did our reading lesson we are moving on to our math everybody's getting some juice right now this is where we're at so i get out our box of manipulatives and then we start working through the lesson it's usually two pages and then we'll take another little break after that i think i might do a whole video on math with confidence because i just like how it is laid out here we're counting to 30 throwing a ball and it just breaks things up like this you're doing things it's hands-on you're using manipulatives versus just doing workbook work and the girls have really loved it i like it it's definitely way more prep work but i think it just really like solidifies base concepts of math. So let me know down below if you'd like to see a video getting more into depth and explaining math with confidence. The kids are having a little break playing outside right now. They're all on their scooters and whatnot. I'm gonna have some oatmeal because I'm starving. I didn't really eat much breakfast today. So I do gluten-free oats and then I add a little bit of brown sugar and some cinnamon. And I just need some food. I also need some protein. I haven't had like any protein today. So I think after I eat this, just give me a little energy, uh, I'll make some scrambled eggs for all the kids. Our lessons we did really fast today. Sometimes it takes us much longer to get through a lesson. Sometimes it is pretty quick. So it really just depends on what it is, if they're catching on to it, or if I feel like they need more practice with whatever we're doing. Kids are outside playing still. I'm getting their vitamins lined up for them. We're out of multivitamins right now. So I'll just do a little lineup right here. We've got the kids, organic kids, zinc, iron, vitamin c and elderberry these are all from mary ruth's and you guys can use my coupon code still it is this one's brand new actually i'll probably give them this because i didn't realize that this one is not opened yet so we'll do the extra strength elderberry until that one's gone some left in there and we'll save that one um my code is still active though if you guys want to use it it is mro kendra 20 all caps and you can use that on their website you can also use that on amazon so just use that at checkout but um this is what i love to give the kids in the morning time just get they love them too they taste really good Need some snacks for piano we are making some toast before we leave how can we make different voices your voice you can just change your voice to make it higher or lower Oh, no. How do you just change your mouth with different Yeah. Oh, Off we go. Wish us luck. All right, we are at piano. I'm gonna show you guys what I do in there. We have a um, study going on with some of my friends. We're doing the book of Philippians. So I bring that in, try to get a day done. And then I didn't find a brooch at the thrift shop, but I did find this really cool stoneware. Like, look at how awesome this is. Where did you find that brooch? I know, I gotta go somewhere else to find a brooch. I just think that was a score. It's super heavy and cool, really nice. So, 
go into piano. I got Owen, we got some coloring to do. Okay, we are back from piano. And I'm making the kids some sandwiches, some turkey, provolone. I love this avocado mayo. So I'm cooking that and they're playing outside. I also got this gluten-free bread. We'll try it out, see how it tastes. I'm gonna make one for myself and then I have this for them. A lot of the times we'll just do a little snack tray for lunch. Hey! Okay. Okay. My headphones in, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen with a podcast on. The kids are having a little rest, watching a show, and I gotta put my hair up in a ponytail. <laughs> Peanut butter for myself and the kids. Okay, the kids and I just made some pumpkin loaf. Here's the aftermath. And it turned out pretty good. So we'll see how it tastes. Put it in here right now and I top with some cinnamon sugar. So that is gonna be for 55 minutes or so. We also just went to the park. I feel like we needed to get out of the house. So we went to the park to run around. Now we're back and now I'm gonna start on dinner. All right, I'm making dinner. So a go-to meal of mine is a skillet meal, which I usually do either rice or potatoes. So I'm putting the potatoes in first so those can cook. I put them in some olive oil and I'll cover the lid and let those steam and cook first before I add anything else to the mix. I love this electric skillet. I'll link this down below for you. My mom recommended it to me and it's just really convenient to have. So I mix those all around so that they're fully coated with oil. And then with this, I'd like to add some type of protein and some type of vegetable. So today I'm using chicken sausage and for our vegetables, I'm using some orange and red bell peppers and some onion. I believe, yeah, I added onion. I used to always cut my peppers long ways and I've realized that the kids and Andrew, I feel like everybody just eats more and enjoys the dinner more when everything is cut up into more bite-sized pieces. So I find myself doing that with kind of everything, with potatoes, with meat, sausage. I just tend to cut things up much smaller now and I just feel like people like it more. So I'm cutting up my peppers here and then I had leftover cut up onions from the previous night that I'm adding in. And I just let that all simmer and cook together until everything is is golden and I take it all out and it's delicious. And you can season it with whatever you want. Usually I just do salt, pepper, garlic and it tastes really great. All right, Andrew's home, we're gonna have dinner. So here's what everything looks like. I added some minced garlic, salt, pepper and yeah. Okay, we all ate dinner and now it is time to just wind down. We usually after dinner all come outside and hang out here, play, Jump on the trampoline, practice catching and hitting balls and doing all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, I'll put links to everything that I mentioned down below in the info section. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give this video a thumbs up because they help out my channel a lot. That is it for today. I hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Nice hit.